it's actually working. Just how important is having a level bed on your 3D printer? Hi, I'm Chris from 123 3D, and today we're going to find out. Traditionally, printers would have to have their beds leveled manually using springs and knobs to raise and lower the four corners of the build plate. This was a real sticking point for beginners and could cause a lot of frustration. However, modern printers such as Creality's K series, the newer versions of the Ender 3, the Voron Trident, and the Prusa Mark IV now use a bed mesh to level the bed. Simply put, a bed mesh is a scan of the printer's build plate which tells the printer's firmware where all the high and low points are on the printer's build plate. So then it can account for it when printing and move the nozzle up and down when needed. To the naked eye, it might look like your build plate is perfectly flat, but the bed mesh is able to account for fractions of a millimeter. If you own a printer with this functionality, then you'll be able to see the mesh of your printer in the settings menu. But this raises the question, just how much can the machines compensate for? To find out, we took Creality's Ender 3 V3 KE and printed a 210mm by 210mm square, then extruded that to 0.4mm or two layers thick. This gives us the best possible chance of seeing any anomalies or nasty looking bits in the print. This experiment was done using 123 3D filament on a standard machine, just as it came from the factory. If you want to find out more about this machine, check out our side-by-side -side comparison between this and the Ender 3 V3 S. Click the card in the top right hand corner or the link in the description below. For this experiment we have added some masking tape to one of the lead screws to make the z-axis movement easier to see. So before we start our first print we have done a fresh bed level. Here you can see the measurements of the points across the build plate that are making up the mesh. So now we're going to start our first print with a level bed. As you can see from the masking tape there is very little if any movement in the z-axis. We'll fast forward a bit further into the print. As you can see, the print is about a quarter of the way through and there is very minimal movement in the Z-axis. Now that is finished and we have our control print, I added some washers to two corners of the bed. This will make the bed uneven and give us an idea of just how far we can push the technology. Here's a side-by-side -side to really show the difference. That's too extreme! Once everything was screwed back together, we did the machine's auto-leveling setup process again. Surprisingly, the machine didn't give any warnings or error messages just to pop up on the screen, notifying us that there is a bigger-than-usual discrepancy in the mesh. As you can see from the information shown on the printer's screen, there is a 6.33mm height difference between the front right corner where we put the washers and the back left corner. We then printed the exact same file again using the same filament. As you can see, the tape is already showing significantly more movement on the Z-axis when printing the walls. If we put the footage of the two side by side, you can really see the difference. Now the print is about a quarter of the way through, let's fast forward to the end and then compare the two. So as you can see from the two side by side, both prints are virtually identical. Then to show it's not a fluke, we printed a traditional Benchy in our white PLA on that front right corner. While it's not perfect, the quality is more than acceptable. I also printed a Platypus in our transparent blue PETG and this low poly hand model in our gold PLA. So to answer the question, how important is having a level build plate? It turns out in our test using an Ender 3 V3 KE, it's not as important as you might think. Obviously our test here is an extreme example, but it shows that having a bed that isn't perfectly level isn't the end of the world, and it might not be the cause of your problems. As always, we aim to have the most competitive 3D printer prices in the UK. If you see any of our printers being sold by a mainstream UK retailer for less, please drop us an email using the link in the description and we will do our very best to beat their price. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe and check out 123 3 dcouk for all your 3D printing needs.